The Way of the World by William Congreve The Way of the World is a play written by the English playwright William Congreve. It premiered in the early March 1700s in the theatre in Lincoln's Inn Fields in London. It is widely regarded as one of the best restoration comedies and is still occasionally performed. Initially, however, the play stopped many audience members as continuing the immorality of the previous decades and was not well received. The characters in the play are Mirabel, protagonist of the drama, Fainal, antagonist of the drama, Arabella, Fainal wife and Mirabel's ex-girlfriend, Whitwell, Mirabel's servant, he marries Foybel, he disguised Sir Roland, Lady Wishford, Arabella mother and Milament auntie, Milament, beautiful woman, Miss Marwood, Wishford friend and she loves Fainal, Mincy, knew the secret of Fainal affair, Sir Wilful Whitwood, courting Milament. Before the action of the play begins, the following events are assumed to have taken place. Mirabel, a young man about town, apparently not a man of great wealth, has had an affair with Mrs. Fainall, the widow daughter of Lady Wishford. To protect her from scandal in the event of pregnancy, he has helped engineer her marriage to Mr. Fainall, a man whom he feels to be of sufficiently good reputation to constitute a respectable match but not a man of such virtue that tricking him would be in fear. Fainal, for his part, married the young widow because he coveted her fortune to support his armor and Mrs. Marwood. In time, the liaison between Mirabel and Mrs. Fainal ended, although this is not explicitly stated, and Mirabel found himself in love with Milament, the niece and ward of Lady Wishford and the cousin of his former mistress. There are, however, financial complications. Half of Milliman's fortune was under her own control, but the other half, £6,000, was controlled by Lady Wishford, to be turned over to Milliman if she married a suite approved by her aunt. Unfortunately, Mirabel had earlier offended Lady Wishford. She had misinterpreted his flattery as love. Mirabel, therefore, has contrived an elaborate scheme. He has arranged for a pretended uncle, his valet Waitwell, to woo and win Lady Wishford. Then Mirabel intends to reveal the actual status of the successful wooer and obtain her consent to his marriage to Milliman by rescuing her from the misalliance. Waitwell was to marry Foybel, Lady Wishford's maid, before the masquerade so that he might not decide to hold Lady Wishford to her contact. Mirabel is too much a man of his time to trust anyone in matters of money or love. Milamant is aware of the plot, probably through Foybel. When the play opens, Mirabel is impatiently waiting to hear that Waitwell is married to Foybel. During Mirabel's card game with Fainal, it becomes clear that the relations between the two men are strained. There are hints at the fact that Fainal has become twice dubbed by Mirabel. Mrs. Fainal is Mirabel's former mistress, and Mrs. Marwood, Fainal's mistress, is in love with Mirabel. In the meantime, although Milamant quite clearly intends to have Mirabel, she enjoys teasing him in his state of uncertainty. Mirabel bids fear to succeed until, unfortunately, Mrs. Marwood overhears Mrs. Fainal and Foybel discussing the scheme, as well as Mirabel and Mrs. Fainal's earlier love affair. Since Mrs. Marwood also overhears insulting comments about herself, she is vengeful and informs Fainal of the plot and the fact, which he suspected before, that his wife was once Mirabel's mistress. The two conspirators now have both motive and means for revenge. In the same afternoon, Milamand accepts Mirabel's proposal and rejects Sir Wilful Whitwood, Lady Wishford's candidate for her head. Fainal now dominates the action. He unmasks Sir Roland, the false uncle, and blackmails Lady Wishford with the threat of her daughter's disgrace. He demands that the balance of Milliman's fortune, now forfeit, be turned over to his sole control, as well as the unspent balance of Mrs. Fainall's fortune. In addition, he wants assurance that Lady Wishford will not marry so that Mrs. Fainall is certain to be the heir. This move of Fainall's is now countered. Milliman says that she will marry Sir Wilful to save her own fortune. Fainal insists that he wants control of the rest of his wife's money and immediate management of Lady Wishford's fortune. 
when Mirabel brings two servants to prove that Fainal and Mrs. Marwood were themselves guilty of adultery. Fainal ignores the accusation and points out that he will still create a scandal which would blacken the name of Mrs. Fainal unless he gets the money. At this point, Mirabel triumphantly reveals his most successful ploy. Before Mrs. Fainal married Fainal, she and Mirabel had suspected the man's character and she had appointed her lover trustee of her fortune. Fainal is left with no claim to make because Mrs. Fainal does not control her own money. He and Mrs. Marr would live in great anger. Sir Wilful step aside as Milliman's suitor, Lady Wishford forgives the servants and consent to the match of Mirabel and Milliman.